Hi, I'm Rich Frawley and I'm the Digital Forensic Specialist with ADF Solutions. Today we are going to prepare multiple collection keys. We all want to be prepared when executing warrants on scene or when encountering multiple devices that need immediate attention in the lab. Knowing you are going to encounter several computers allows you to get ready and create the collection keys ahead of time. I'm going to prepare several collection keys for you today, with and without search profiles. And I'm going to be using DEI Pro today to show you this method. I'm going to create two of our collection keys with the search profiles. And then I'm going to create four others, USB devices, to use without search profiles. So let's move over to Digital Evidence Investigator Pro. Okay, with Digital Evidence Investigator Pro open to the home screen, we're going to go to Prepare Collection Key screen. Under Search Profiles, you can see I have two options. No predefined search profiles where you will get to select the captures that you want to run on scene and then predefined search profiles. This is where you pick the out of the box or the custom profiles that you want to put on the collection keys and have available to you and you could pick one if you're just gonna send somebody out with the USB device and you only want them to have one option or you could put as many as you want if you want that time-based configurability where you have several different options to choose from. So first we're going to prepare two collection keys with some search profiles on it. So let's say I'm going out and I want my sprint factor. I want my sprint factor with artifact and image detection. I want a quick child exploitation. And for the suspect's computer, maybe I'm going to bring out my custom fraud or my custom cyber tip and also I have a custom one for scanning non-operating system drives with specific keywords and hashes. So what I'm going to do here and one of the hints I like to give is know what's attached to your machine. So I don't have the collection keys attached yet that I want to have prepared but I do have my work files, I have a backup drive, and I have another backup drive here. And I definitely do not want to select those when I'm preparing. So hint one is don't have them connected if you're going to prepare, or at least connect and then know which ones are there uh, so you don't prepare those. I'm going to now connect the two collection keys. So I'm going to place number one in, and here's number two and we select that as well. So as the computer moves on and recognizes those collection keys you see that one here and two here. So now drive D and E are my collection keys that I want to prepare. So I have my search profile selected. I selected the two drives that I want to prepare. The prepare button lights up on the bottom. It says okay you're all set. You've made your selections. You've selected your drives and we will now prepare the two collection keys. Again, when you're doing this, whether it's one or multiple, it's going to tell you that you have results on there that have not been backed up or you have data on there um, if you proceed. So these are okay, I don't need these anymore. Uh, here's my collection keys, they are not empty. This will be deleted, these are going to be formatted if you're okay with that and the reason you don't want to select your other drives, um, we hit proceed. And you can see it'll start going through the process on the collection keys. The first drives being prepared. And this computer has already prepared some collection keys, so the process is going a little faster than if it was the first time that you're preparing them. The first time it prepares a key, it's going to take a few extra minutes to do. Our warning tells you up to 30. Typically, it's going to be 7, 10, uh, 11, 12 minutes, depending on your computer, of course. Once that first drive is done, the others will take less time to prepare. So let's let this go, and then we'll select and prepare the other collection keys.
you can see that that first collection key has been completed and it has been safely ejected for you and it says you can unplug it. We will wait as I use two drives that are very similar. I'm going to wait until all the drives are done until we unplug one. You can see the second one's now uh, being prepared and when that changes we will be ready to move on to the other drives. Okay. Drive number two is done. We have prepared multiple collection keys to go out onto scene. It's asking me to unplug them. And we're going to go back to the home screen. I'm going to plug in one of the collection keys to show you. This in here. There is the collection key CKY prepared. It's got the start.bat on it and it is ready to go. Okay, back at the home screen on Digital Evidence Investigator Pro. We're doing multiple drives this time, and this time we're going to check no predefined search profile. This is where you get to select any of the default captures when you're on scene. So let's say you're going out on a missing person case, and the first thing you want off that drive is the browser history and maybe a couple other artifacts uh, from that, you'll be able to select those captures only, run your scan, and then move on. And then you have these other drives that we prepared that will have the search profiles on them that you could run against those computers as well. So I have four drives. Again, uh, like I said before, be aware of what is connected to your computer. So when you start plugging in the other drives, and I'm putting in... Uh, four different drives here into a four port hub. You can see I have auto open and these were all previously prepared uh, collection keys. So now I have my four collection keys that makes it very easy here to prepare. I select the drives that I want to prepare. I make sure the ones I don't want to prepare are not checked. Prepare is lit up. We select prepare and one by one it will go through and prepare these keys. And you can see here that it's showing different results on different keys that have not backed, been backed up. That's okay. I'm aware of that. I want to proceed. And then it goes on and starts preparing each drive one by one. Again, one of the benefits to this is you're going out on scene. Uh, we've had cases out there where a task force was going out into a business and they knew they were going to encounter 75 computers on scene and they needed to establish which ones they were going to take, which ones they were going to image, and which ones they were going to leave behind. Knowing this, they prepared 75 collection keys prior to going out on scene. When they went out on scene, they plugged in all 75 of the drives if you needed to collect RAM, they were able to collect RAM. If they were powered off, they were able to boot to the collection key. And they were able to start each scan with one license and move on to the next. So in essence, all 75 computers were scanning at the same time. When the first one finished, somebody went back, looked at it, made the determination on whether they were going to eliminate the computer, image the computer, or seize the computer. And the nice thing about this is you can image from the collection key as well. So on the ones they needed to image, they just moved right into the imaging phase, not having to restart, not having to use another tool. So they were able to do all of this with one collection key or with the multiple collection keys and one license. You can see here that it's moving on and it's going through one by one and creating those keys. When they're all done, you can remove the devices. They are all um, safely ejected for you. So there it is, creating multiple collection keys, either with search profiles or without the predefined search profiles. So that's all for this video. Thank you for your time.